A special welcome to all of us. My name is Kofi, your admin for Leading Forex YouTube channel. Every Sunday, we come your way with what we call market review. We do what we call analysis, forecast. We give you signals that we believe that in the course of the week, you can trade. So that is what we do every Sunday. So I want to welcome you. If this is your first time you are seeing this, please, every Sunday, we will come your way with analysis. Now, before we get into this week's analysis, last week video and the forecast we gave, we need to look at it. Actually, a lot of you left comment for me on the video suggesting that I should do more of that in-depth analysis because the analysis I did for last week's Sunday was very deep. I explained everything into detail in terms of price action or in terms of looking at break and retest as a strategy. Looking at what? Break and retest as a strategy. Those of you who enjoy that are asking me to do more. I will try my best and between more of that. Is that okay? So in today's video, we are going to get another detailed explanation or detailed analysis of what we should look out for in this week. Now, let me take you quickly to last week's uh, analysis, okay? I want us to look at last week's analysis and see whether we won the trade or we lost it. Is that okay? So let's go straight. This is our MT4. So we have our MT4 here. And currently, as you can see, it is on Euro JPY and it's on one hour time frame. Maybe if I bring it to maybe daily time frame, you might see it like this. Let me zoom out. Or if I put it on weekly, you will see it like this. So the whole week, Euro JPY gave us a buy. And that is over 450 pips buy. 450 pips buy. If you remember, I gave Euro JPY buy, right? And this has been over 450 pips in profit. So the analysis I gave, if you do remember, if I go back to the one hour, this is the one hour. The price I gave for last week, the entry price for last week was 158.730. Do you all remember? That was our entry price, 158. This is 158.61. So let me put it back this way, 158.730. Now, this, this line, this is... Uh, a vertical line or horizontal. This is a horizontal line. This red line you are seeing here. When you come to the, the, the MT4, there are two important lines that are used for marking the chart or uh, measuring the chart. So let me show you the first one because as you are going to be doing this analysis, you need those tools. Okay? So since you need those tools, I need to show you those tools, what they stand for, and what you can use them for. So if you look here, you will see these tools here. There are two of them. This two tools here. This two over here. At the top here. One is draw horizontal line. The other one is draw vertical line. And then the next one is draw a trend line. These two or uh, three symbols here are very, very important. I pray you should be able to see where my cursor is. At the left top corner, left top corner, if you look at that place, you see my cursor moving. You see some three uh, symbols there. We have draw vertical line, draw horizontal line, and then draw trend line. These three lines are very important. They help you to measure uh, the chart or do your measurement on the chart. Is that okay? So I use this one, which is the horizontal, and that gave me this line, okay? So this line, it helps me to look at the price from the end here. So the price here is 158.734. So if I want to measure the price from maybe here, I'll just put the line here. Once I put the line here, then I can look at the price at the right edge here. And that will be 160.733. So this horizontal line helps you to do measurement of what? Price. So if you want to measure the price here, it should go to the right side that is 162.47 so that is what this horizontal line is used for okay if you want it to stay at one place 
once you double click on it it will stay if you try to move it it will not move you see i'm trying to move it it's not moving but when you double click on it it will highlight and then you can now be able to drag it and position it at where you want to put it is that okay so if i bring it to that price uh, last week our entry price was 158.730 that is somewhere here here so if this was our entry here this is where the week began so if you look from our entry point here to the downside the market went down 65 pips against us 65 pips against us and went straight into profit how many pips? That's 465 pips. 465. So within Monday, Tuesday, you would have gotten your 100 pips TP. It would have been easy to get. You would have gotten your 100 pips TP. Because from here to here, it's about 200 pips already. So this trade was a serious win. <laughs> it was a great win for all of us. Is that okay? So that is how we do our analysis. So this was a straight win. Now, you remember there were some trades that we had on for the past two weeks. If you remember, that's USD Chef. And you can see USD Chef also went by this time round. USD Chef has been on a buy for the past two weeks. We gave that signal. Now, USD Chef has gone into buy and has finally given us what we were looking for. So you see it, USD Chef gave us the profit that we're looking for. So if I go to weekly time frame, you can see it now. We entered the trade here. That was last week. We entered the trade here. And then it came against us almost about 80 something pips. Now it came into profit now and gave us the 100 pips that we were targeting. So this has given us our take profit. So that our two weeks trade has finally given us the profit. Our two weeks trade has finally given us the profit. So just as I told you, when you trust the analysis and you know what you are doing, you do not fear. There was also another one I gave, Card Chef. You remember that one too? Card Chef to here it is. Now, if you look at Card Chef, it has also come back into profit. This is weekly time frame. So we entered the trade here, and then the trade came against us about 44 or so pips. Now the trade has come into profit and we are in profit about 74 pips. So this one is still in profit, although it hasn't given us the 100 pips we are looking for, but we are in profit about 77. So these were the two trades that were pending for, from last two weeks. So automatically, these were the three trades that we were looking at because the two weeks trades, I still said that we should leave them open. And now they are all in profit. Two have given us our profit. One is also in profit, but almost about giving us the 100 pips profit that we are looking for. Is that okay? So this is how beautiful uh, we can analyze the market and for us to make profit. Now, if you want to be sure and to be able to track what we are saying, the videos are still on the channel. You can go and watch our Sunday market reviews. And then you can be able to see the analysis we did for the previous weeks or the two weeks ago or last month or last three weeks or last four weeks. And then you can use that to compare, to see whether the signals or the forecast we are giving here is giving profit or not. Is that okay? So that is one beautiful thing about leading Forex. We make sure that uh, you join us here and you make profit as a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And if you haven't hit the notification bell too, please do. So that anytime I drop a new video, you'll be one of the first people to receive it. Now, finally, let's look at this week's analysis. Are we good? Now, we can confidently say that at the moment, we are looking at a reversal back to that neck that we were looking at. This is weekly time frame, my people. So if we are analyzing this again, you remember the trend? This was the trend, right? And it broke through the trend here, came back a bit to this neck, fell, and now currently is back to that neck again. So if I change it, or if before I even change it, let's take note of this area. 
We have just begun the analysis, so pay attention. Let's take note of this area again. It's a very important area. Maybe let me make it bigger. This area is a very important area. Is that okay? Now, this is on weekly time frame. If I zoom back to daily, this is what we're going to have. I think if I can change the color of this, it will help. Let me change the color from green to maybe yellow. Yellow. Okay. So this is it. All right. So this is it. Now, this is where we are looking at. It's still a very strong neck. It means Euro JPY is still on a sell trend. Although it has gone back up to that neck. But because the trend line is broken, this is now on daily time frame. Because the trend line is broken, we are still in a downtrend. Is that okay? So do not think that we have moved out of the downtrend. If we go back to the four hour time frame, this is the four hour time frame. And you can see how price has respected. If I move out from here, you can see how price has consolidated or respected this top here. A very tough area which has been respected on several occasions. So at this moment, price is back to that level, which is a key area or a key level to watch. So since we are still in a downtrend, let me move to the one hour time frame. If I move to the one hour time frame, you can see it better. Now on the one hour time frame, this is what we see. You see this? Now, if this area will be broken, it wouldn't just break easily like that. Before this area will be broken, this area must bring the trade back down to a level here. Okay? If the trend want to now change and go by, the trade must come back and test this level. Yes. It's a very, this top here, the resistant level here, you see, it's a very strong area and cannot just easily be broken like that. If it will be broken, then Euro JPY must come back to this small area of support. And then it will gather the energy and the momentum and then go back up and break this level. Are you hearing me? Yes. So if there wasn't any support at this area, like we can say that, okay, since it gathered momentum from here, the down here, Okay? We are learning as we are doing this analysis. If, if there wasn't any support here, but rather here, we would have said that since the trade gathered momentum from here and went up, then it is possible it will break up and continue to the uptrend. But because it came up, tried and rested here, came back down and formed another support here, we believe that if this trade will be able to gather the energy and break this very strong resistance zone, which is the yellowish top here, then it must come back and test this one and then gather the momentum and go back up and break. So if that is the case, then we are expecting to get a pullback or a sell from this zone back to the down here, this down zone here. And from the top here to the down here is almost about 180 pips. It's almost about 180 pips. So we are supposed to target or we are supposed to uh, trade Euro JPY by selling. Now, if the trade gets to this level and it breaks down here, then it is coming back down to this level. And if the down level here is also broken, then it will be coming down straight to this level. So these are the areas that we should watch out for. As it is coming, once it comes back to this level and breaks here, then it will come back to this area. When it breaks here, it will come down to the last area below. Okay? So, like I told you or said, this is four hour. Our downtrend is still valid. It is still valid. The downtrend is still valid for Euro JPY. So do not think that now that the trade has gone back up to the top here, it is going to break and continue up. The downtrend is still valid. Is that okay? So then, 
what is going to be our entry if this is the analysis what is going to be our entry and if you love what you are seeing please subscribe also tell other people about what we are doing here uh, on leading forex let them join and learn so that together we can grow is that okay so like i'm saying uh let's look at it what is going to be our entry okay what is going to be our entry price? Our entry price, entry price is going to be, I'm typing it for you so that you can see it. Our entry price is going to be 163.5. Uh, the market is closed. Today being Sunday, the market is closed. So this is going to be our entry price. Take note of that. This is our entry price, 163. Point one four zero. So, what is going to be our take profit? We are looking for hundred pips. So, what is going to be our take profit? Our TP is going to be one six two point one four zero. That is going to be our take profit. I'm putting it at the top here. Our take profit is going to be 162.140. Now, what is going to be our stop loss? Uh, what is going to be our stop loss? Our stop loss, which is XL, SL is going to be 164.140. Also 100 pips. So this is our stop loss over here. And like I said, the trade is what? A sell. We are looking at a sell. Okay? So let me put a sell here. That is our trade, a sell. We are looking at a sell from this area here. So Euro JPY, we are going to sell in this coming week. We are going to sell Euro JPY in this coming week. Our entry is going to be 163.14. Our take profit is going to be 162.140. And then our stop loss is going to be 164.140. Remember, the trade is a sell. The trade is a sell. Is that okay? Nice one. Now, you have seen how we do analysis here. I am going to give you only this trade. There are other trades that are available but this time round I want to stick to one thing at a time I don't want to give you so many trades and then you will burden your account so I want to give you maybe one trade or at most two at a time so this week I want to give you this one this very one that is the trade I want to give to you for us to trade in the course of the week if there are new signals that I will give I'll do that either in my VIP group or on the free group. I have two Telegram channels. One is a free group. The other one is a paid group. The paid one is a VIP signal group where I share signals. Now, in that group, I do not count signals. So I don't want the, the situation where someone will be asking me, how many signals do you give in a day? I don't have that. I don't have any figure for that. As and when I see a trade opportunity, I give it out. I don't count the number of trades I give in that group. So take note. And maybe other groups, they are give, telling you they'll give you four or five signals in a day and the rest. I don't have that. I only give the signal when I see that I have one. And the signal that I give is a trade that I personally take myself before giving it out. So I take my time to get a trade before I give it out. So if you want to be in the VIP group, it is $100 for 12 good months. You enjoy signals from me for 12 good months. Now, some of the signals that I share in the VIP group, I also share some of them in the free group. So if you want to join the free group, go to the description of every video of mine. The link to join the free Telegram channel is there in the description you get the link to join the free telegram channel you see it in the description i also have brokers my recommended brokers 
their links are also in the description you see broker one up to broker seven you can sign up with any of them if you are in europe there are brokers you can sign up with they are there in the description if you are in africa there are brokers you can sign up with but if you're in africa i will recommend you sign up with broker one and two but if you are in europe or any other part of the world apart from us if you're in any other part of the world apart from us then you can sign up with broker five or broker four five six seven broker four five six seven any of them you can sign up with and use them as your broker and trade with them as your broker is that okay now when you sign up with my broker any of the referrals or any of the brokers i have referred you to in case you sign up with any of them please contact me i'll give you a group to join that one is a downline group that is a group for those who have signed up under my brokers or my referral brokers okay there's a telegram group for that also so i want to know i want to be sure that i keep uh, those that have signed under me through my brokers i want to keep them in a, a group so that from time to time if there's any benefit to give out to them i can give out to them so that is why i keep those people in that group sometimes i even share signals in that group also so that you can trade so there are other benefits you may get if you are in the that group if you have signed up or if you have registered with any broker that i have recommended if you have used my link that is if you have used my link and if you've used my link there is a way i can also check to confirm that truly truly you have used my link so you cannot just chat me and say i've used your link so add me to the group i'll confirm i have a way to confirm it so i'll confirm and be sure that you actually registered under me before i can put you in that group is that okay all right so that is that my name is kofi your admin if you want to be in the vip group like i said it's hundred dollars for 12 months if you also want to be in the free group just go to the description of my videos and then you'll get the link to join is that okay thank you i'll see you at the end of this week and we will look at the trade that we have given to see whether we will make some profits or not all right see you at the end of next week coming all right take care and take care of yourself